I thought the reoccurring nightmare playmat was a good fit considering this is the very last core 20 box opening you will ever see on Alpha Investments. So it's a special day today, everybody. We're going to bring back something special. The crisscross special opening for good luck. So, these last videos brought to you by my patron, Andrew. Now, Andrew is an actual English professor. He actually works in a professional university-style school environment. He is actually an English professor. So, Sir Andrew, as I will call you, I wish you the best of luck on the very last Core 20 box opening. It's kind of a special day, everybody. Andrew, was he, he signed up for the last one. He, this is it, man. So, uh... <laughs> Hopefully we don't go out in some crappy opposite of a blaze of glory. Hopefully we can go out with a bunch of goodies. So far, we're not doing it. So far, um, we are zero for two, everybody. But anyways, Andrew, no matter what happens, I appreciate the support, sir, and thank you very much. And, ooh, that's a creepy little foil burglar common. And uh, hopefully it works out. So far, to reflect on the entire whew, 31 videos of Core 20 box openings, I can confidently say that overall, it's an under-open, under-appreciated set. And as we kind of do our good riddance on this beautiful day... Oh my god, this is a bad... Oh, Foil Island. Yikes, are we really going to end on a bad note with nothing good? Ugh, that's kind of a crappy way to end the series. Um, overall, I can definitely say it's a very... It's a good set. I'm hesitant to use the word well-designed because it feels clunky. You have the, you know, the kind of the scry lands, but then you got ley lines and hydras and, you know, the lotus field. You've got a lot of things kind of, then some random planeswalkers. It doesn't really feel very, you know, melded together. Hey, call you for our first mythic. Very nice. It, it just has a weird feel to it. It's a very funky set. It doesn't have a good theme or vibe to it, but again, it is a core set. Knight of the Aboon. Very nice. Very nice. One of the most expensive rares in the set now. Can you believe that? So, and, well, as of the filming of this video, who knows when you guys will actually see it and we'll see what actually happens, right? And Howling Giant, foil uncommon. But, anyway, that's my, that's my kind of, uh, that's my final thoughts on Core 20, everybody. It's it's a great product. It just, it should have used a little bit of tweaking, and I think the name hindered it. That is my final opinion after working with this for the last 60 days and really trying to get a good feel for the value and how they designed it and all that fun stuff. It definitely, it's interesting how core sets always have a different feel compared to a standard set. Like a standard Throne of Eldraine or a, a Ravnica set. Ooh, there we go. Locus of the Royal. Very nice. So two Mythics, both of which are nice little gold creatures there. Interesting. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's kind of my, my takeaway of everything. Drawn from the Dreams and a very nice Cryptic Caves. I love those weird little lands. I'm probably my favorite type of card behind Artifact by far. Those I just I love artifacts and bizarre non-basic lands. No pun intended, bizarre. Haha. <laughs> but anyways, so um, unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have more of a, a normal calm ending for the core twenty here. I thought we usually these videos are pretty wild, but maybe maybe the set's kind of sad because it knows this is it. So yeah. Anyways, so hey, there we go. Vivian Arcbo throwing down our first planeswalker. So three mythic box. Uh, I don't think we have any ley lines. Uh, do we have any temples? I don't even think we have any temples. A little on the weird side, but okay. Ugh, Planner Cleansing. I hope they never reprint that card ever again. Like, seriously, like, w nobody asks for that card to be reprinted. Nobody. And I don't... Hey, Temple of Epiphany. Finally, we got our first one. So anyways, uh, I expect Core 20 to be in print for probably, uh, I'm guessing, the next 12 months. Acolyte of Flame. Very nice. I think we got a nice, uh, pretty much till next summer... I think this thing remains in print for a solid 12 months until Core, I guess, Core 2021 comes out. I mean, I guess if they're going to continue doing the Core set thing again, I, I, I guess. I don't know. Regulator. Hey, look at that. Rotting Dino. The very I've never seen a full rare of that. That's a really cool hit. Um, that was a really hot card at the beginning uh, about a month ago. I don't know if that's still a thing, but that's a pretty sweet. And Field of the Dead. All right, so now we're getting a little spicy here. Maybe we took a little time to warm up today, everybody. Kind of a nice calm day. Maybe it's just a little, a little slow warm up. That's a ley line. There we go. Ley lines, temples, foil rares, fields of the dead. That is what we are hoping for. Okay. Much, much better for the clothes. And boring elemental. Oh, that duress foil. Always gives me the heebie-jeebies, man. 
Always freaks me out a little bit. Always a, a little bit of a nerve-wrecking little card there. Hey, the Mu Ying Lang. Sky Dancer. Very nice. Okay, Planeswalker again for our fourth Mythic. That's a nice hit there. All right, well, I guess we are going to end on a good note again. We just started off a little quiet today. A little dollar, uh, dollar fifty wolf there. A little night pack ambush in action. Okay, very cool, very cool. And we got ourselves Ma of Flames on the old dragon. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're going to end officially 31 videos in uh, Temple of My Lady. She did show up. I guess we're going to end with uh, everybody overall, not a single patron, got crushed on Core 20. And what's funny is no one's going to remember that. No one's going to, like, when we do all these future sets and Thrones of Drains and Theroses and future Zendikars, I don't think anyone's really going to remember that. Ooh, Temple of Triumph, very nice. I don't think anyone's ever going to be in the comment section saying, hey, remember when Rudy did 31 box openings at Core 20 and, and nobody lost money? I, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Because, oh, Leyline of the Void, the big black Leyline, the best of the best. That's the only, that's kind of my only comment. That's, that's a sad thing about these type of things is, you know, there's so many sets and things. Wow, we're getting all the temples now. Holy smokes. But a lot of this stuff is forgettable. People, you know, there's so many videos and we live in this fast-paced time. Nice little pilgrim. You know, people don't remember this stuff. It kind of just gets brushed under the rug and we all kind of move on. And again, I pump out a lot of content too, so I'm sure I don't help the situation. Cavalier Flames, holy smokes. Mythic number five. Wow. Boy, we started off really slow and bumpy, but man, did we have a good core 20 and ending on the cage. Very nice. Well, it looks like it continues, even until the last video, Andrew. Moving forward, I'm going to call you Dr. Sir Andrew the Third of the 5th Dynasty, PhD, MD, Batman symbol. That is your new name. And uh, that was good, man. That was, that was a very nice box opening. Um, but again, you know, like I said, we never really had anybody who really took a pounding on this set. It's a funny, because all the more expensive sets and the riskier ones, the volatility's there, but... It's like a little old core, you know, boop, ley line, look at that, pack one, ley line. You know, it's just, it's, it's nice, it really is, it really is nice, everybody. So, anyways, but, ah, the memories of core 20. Bag of holdings, oops, I dropped a foil basic land, I got a nice little foil swampy. So, that's about all I have, unless anybody else has any other comments, or, um, I guess we're going to be, you're not going to see another core set opening like this until, I guess... Oh my goodness, I guess the summer of next year. I guess we got a whole nother year. We got quite a long time until we're going to have the next one swing around, everyone. Late line of anticipation. Very, very nice. Yeah, I don't, uh... And again, we got a lot of... I'm still wondering about this mystery set coming off. I've been hearing about that. I don't know what the deal's with that. Little Hydra. I, I don't even know if that's going to be a booster box at all. Is that even going to be a thing? Is that just like a... I have no idea. Another ley line and a little charge enchantment. The Zephyr charge. Um, it's kind of a dumb card. Why anybody would play that, I have no idea. All right, masterful replication again. I don't know. Go figure. Go figure, everybody. But all right, and Legion's end. Well, I'm looking for some goodies. I'd love to have. Wouldn't it be amazing if we get some sort of awesome? Like, grand finale pool at the end of this whole journey. Another Pilgrim and a Rapid Bite. It's so weird how they reprinted so many Shadows and Innistrad and Eldritch Moons cards. That's kind of such a strange thing. Wake Root Elemental. But, I don't know, I'd love to see a really good foil mythic home run, right? Or just a foil Field of the Dead or Lotus or something. Symmetry. And Drawn from the Dreams is the foil rare. So we'll probably get a second foil rare, but... Yeah, it's not really a not really a home run there, everybody. Oh well, not too bad, Andrew. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, Kethis, what do you guys think of this one? I still always felt this was, and again, I know Reed doesn't know how to play Magic the Goothering, but I have to admit this was one I always thought had a lot of potential that nobody gives that card the time of day. Does anybody else notice that? Like nobody really like even just cares, thinks, or mentions that card or anything. And Rob, I, I just feel like it's like a sleeper. No? Nobody else thinks that? Maybe like a like a hidden Leovoid type Leovold type thing? I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Everyone in the comments say, Rudy, just, just learn how to play Magic the Goothering. Poke, Pokemons. Learn, just learn how to play. And then we'll take it from there. We'll take it from there afterwards. Alright, so. Boop, boop, boop. And Icon of Ancestry. I don't think that card ever had any action. Nothing ever really 
spiked up and not a lot really, uh, nothing really came out of that particular card. It's kind of funny, Embodiment of Agonies. It's always funny to watch the market and all the messages and people and try to speculate and buy this and that and move. It's very interesting to see it. And Feral Invocation. So it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of an interesting thing to watch everybody try to really make money. Cavalier of Dawn. There we go. Mythic number two. Haven't been a little dry on the mythics. You know, everybody tries to act like, you know, making money and magic is evil and wrong. And, but then you see everybody's always trying to speculate to try to figure it out to make money. And such a there's also always so much contradictions in this modern internet little e-commerce world. Loxodon and a glaring Aegis. So, boy, box two feels feels a lot weaker than box one, but I'm hesitant to say anything because box one started off the same way. Broker of Blood. I was like, man, we're, this is a really... feels clunky and weak, just like box one. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just being picky. Bam! Soren! Holy crap, we haven't seen you in a while. Very nice. Soren, wow, you had a lot of Planeswalkers. He had two Planeswalkers in the first box. Okay, it's tough to get a lot of Planeswalkers in Core 20. I've opened many boxes. Hey, look at that. Speaking of Planeswalkers, Acolyte. I mean, I've opened a lot of these four twenties, and many of the boxes don't even have one Planeswalker in it. Are you kidding me? Not to mention a couple in the video. Repeated Reverberation and a Brightwood Tracker. Beautiful piece of art, everybody. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Who, who painted that? Who did that card? Uh, jo Joannis Voss? Man, well played. Oh, absolutely stunning. Anyway, Thunderkin Awakener. Well, everybody... I hate to say it, we are down to the last couple packs at 420. For those of you who made it all the way to the end, um, very cool. I don't really have a spell. Ooh, Cavalier. And oh my god, no way! Are you serious? Wow! No way! The exact same? Look at that. I've never even seen one, and we ended on a double rotting dinosaur foot. That is really cool. What are the odds of that? Wow, okay, that, that kind of just made it for me. That was a neat little surprise finale. That was really cool. Holy crap, that was neat. Okay. I was like, before this video, I don't even think I've ever even gotten one on camera at all for anybody. Dungeon Geist and a Lavakin Brawler Creepy Check. I'm sorry, I thought that was really cool. That was really cool. Nice little dinosaur, double, little double rainbow action. Ah, oh, Wind's Fury. A bird wizard. Never worth much. Oh, actually, God, five mythic box again. Well, not bad, Andrew. You ended up with uh, a pretty interesting final box opening here. Tails End. You had a double five mythic box and everything. That's pretty wild. Okay, that's pretty neat. And Temple of Triumph. Very nice little temple. Not many ley lines, though, but boy, ten mythics in two boxes. Very strong. Bishop Wings and the Diamond Knight. I always thought that was a cool piece of art. Not really worth or nobody really cares about, but that was neat looking, everybody. Anyways, all right, well, as we get ready to wrap this up and sail off into the sunset, everybody, again, Andrew, thanks for being a very kind patron. Enjoy the cards. They are uh, on your way, or you probably already have them by now since this is the last opening video. And, of course, thank you again, everybody, for watching, and I appreciate the uh, long-term support and kindness. Oh, I thought we had a foil temple. Oh, that would have been such an awesome ending. And of course, as always, everybody, I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. I really, uh, wow. Wow. Ended on an Awakened Inferno 6th Mythic. I don't even know if people are going to wait to the end. Oh, wow. That was awesome. That was awesome. What a great way to retire Core 2020.